All right, guys. Well, we got Felipe Nava here uh, from Sierra Lynn. He's actually wrestling at Bacone. Is it Bacone College? Yeah, Bacone College, and I went to Sierra Linda High School. Yeah, Sierra Linda High School. Uh, first state champ from Sierra Linda High School with a record of 49 and 1, 170, 170 pounds. Uh, so, how's it going over there in Oklahoma, Felipe? Um, it's, it's, it's going good. Um, it's just a different environment, different weather. It's much colder, more, we see more rain. I've probably seen more rain than I have seen over there in Arizona my whole life. Yeah. But yeah, things are going great here. What about the tornado warnings? Do you ever get any of those yet? Uh, not yet. <laughs> People told me about those. That is one scary sound. Trust me. I went to college in Iowa and that, that sound is really scary. Yeah. So, uh. With your record is forty nine and one, man. Uh, I don't, I don't know who you lost to. Who'd you lose to? Um, well, <laughs> it was at a tournament in Centennial. Um, I think it was my last match of the day in my in my bracket, and I think it was actually Centennial. Um, well, I was actually wrestling the kid, and I was up ahead. I think uh, it was nearly a tech fall, uh-huh. and I ended up re dropping him, and um, he wouldn't get up, so they disqualified me. Oh, they disqualified you? Yeah. Oh, so you really, you technically don't really have a lot. I mean, you technically do, but you didn't lose. Yeah. Yeah. My brother, uh, he had to go through one of those back in college, and those can be really downfall of things. Especially when, yeah. you want that, when you want that zero on the end of your record so bad. Yeah, that's, that's that was kind of upsetting. So what did it feel like to finally win state? Oh, uh, well, winning state... Well, uh, it was a lot of mixed emotions. I couldn't explain it, so I just reacted at the moment and started screaming. And I was at the end. It was tears of joy. It was. It just felt like a big weight had been lifted off off my shoulders because I only started wrestling since my freshman year in high school. Yeah, and I got really into <laughs> wrestling. And um, I uh, I thought senior year was my chance to prove myself in one state going up from 145 pounds to 170 so yeah it was pretty great it was pretty awesome i can't explain the feeling <clears throat> so explain what was going through your mind when uh, you were in the state finals and i've seen that match over and over and i'm sure everyone else has too uh when felipe nava is stuck in a cradle what was going through your mind oh wow well at that time just in general in the state final i was nervous because um I was just thinking what was running through my mind at that point was like I could either come out a state runner up or a state champion. So it was a lot of a lot of thoughts like that going on if I was because I didn't want to lose because a lot of people um, were supporting me and I didn't want to let them down. But when I got in that cradle, um, I was kind of nervous for a bit, but I kind of stayed relaxed so I can get my I could get my arm out. Um I'm really flexible on my sh- on my shoulder blade, so I actually got to get my arm out. And um, after that, I just I just didn't stop and pushed off, and he ended up on his back, and I squeezed tightly as tight as I could. Oh well, you know, well I'm glad you got out of it, because I'll tell you what, it takes a real state champion spirit to get out of them cradles. And uh, in my personal opinion, a cradle is probably the worst move ever invented. They win, but I would hate to beat somebody in a cradle and then later question myself if would I have won that match without that cradle. So good thing he didn't get it on you, you know, but, uh, you know, some guys do get lucky and win with those, and I'm glad that guy didn't. So uh, what are your plans for college this year? Well, this year, um, well, currently right now I just got done with preseason, and this week we started um, our official practices. And I ended up on in first practice. That means um, varsity practice. So my goal this year is to start. I got tough competition in my weight class. That's one of my goals. Um, and I've, I'm trying to get a winning season, see how that goes. And um, hopefully all American honors come. Yeah, that's good, man. I did see that you posted on, I think it was Instagram, that you got you were got a text or something that you were in the varsity practice. Yeah. So how do they do that over there? Uh, varsity practice in the morning and or in the evening first, or? Oh no, we um uh, we got it we got it we got varsity practice at three mm-hmm. p.m. Yeah, we 
um, it's pretty intense. Um, a lot of intense drilling, um, live wrestling, reviewing the moves, um, taking look, taking um, looks at what we can work on to get better, and then more live wrestling. But a majority is drilling and getting everything perfected, and then at the end we start end off with some conditioning. It's pretty intense too. The first day, um, it left my body in shock because I wasn't used to a used to an int- intense practice like that. It's pretty humid in there. Right. I used to that, but it's just a faster pace that we were going at. Yeah, yeah, I love. I do love that college wrestling environment. It's way different than high school, and a lot of guys actually don't know what they expect, and actually, a lot of them aren't even prepared for it when it does happen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. My first time in a college wrestling room, that was a big change. Yeah. Well, Felipe, uh, you are, you did say earlier you were coming home for a Christmas break, so hopefully I can get a follow up interview with you, interview with you, and you'll be uh, successful still, and be able to get more more information on how your season is going to be going. All right. Now, Felipe, good. Felipe, do you have oh. a do you have a profile on Arizona-Wrestling.com so the the viewers can add you as a friend if they want to? Actually, I do. Uh, what's your username? Um, I think it's. Well, I kind of forgot it, but I, it's either one of these two. It's either Smiley Beast One Seventy or um, Felipe N One Seventy. It's one of those two. Okay, sounds good. Uh, yeah, if you want to just log in and so people can see where you were, and then uh, maybe the viewers want to add you as a friend, they will. All right. All right, Felipe. Sounds great, man. Uh, thanks for your time. All right. Thank you. See ya. All right. Take care.